artist, I think if you're not so interested in um, understanding your contracts, there are so many lawyers right now locally who are approachable. And yes, they will charge a fee, but think of the fee as an investment in yourself. Have somebody read the contract for you, break it down so that you understand what is it I'm giving away? What is it that this contract is binding me to? Am I the executive producer of this of this song, of this album? Because once you have understanding of it, you find the choices you're making as far as your music is concerned is a lot different. The mindset begins to change. Yeah. So I, I would encourage a lot of artists to start reading the stuff. Or if you're not going to read the stuff from the money that you make, if it's like I lose 50K from a gig here, spend like a 10K. Get a lawyer, tell them to read it for you, and then break it down so that you're able to understand what is it that you're giving away and what's in it for me yeah. because i mean you're putting so much work and even from experience you would know amina mm -hmm. studio time yeah. you go a couple of times you make a song by the time the final product has actually come out and then you do a video and then you have a crew the amount of money you're putting if you put a 10k aside for a, a lawyer to read your contract it's nothing mm. it's nothing really yeah. yeah but i think it's easy for you to overlook that when you're starting because you don't, you don't even see the money no. you know so to you you're like oh well i just like singing so <laughs> i you know and then you start noticing wait a minute my label just made 2.5 million kenya shillings off of me alone